This is the first video of solving various capacitor problems that have been assigned where we have capacitors in series and parallel. It is important to identify which capacitors are in parallel and which are in series. A common mistake is to think that these three microfarad capacitors are in parallel. They are not. This capacitor here has a voltage VAC. That's between point A and point C. That's where you'd have to put your voltmeter to measure the voltage across it. The bottom capacitor voltage would be measured between B and D. It doesn't matter if those two numbers turn out to be the same. The bottom points where you would connect the voltmeter between B and D are not the same place as the points you would connect to measure the voltage across the top capacitor. To be in parallel, you can't have to move the voltmeter. It has to simultaneously measure the voltage across both elements at the same time. And that's not true here. They have totally different voltage. One's between A and C, and the other's between B and D. So they are not in parallel. They're not in series either. Any charge leaving this first capacitor may go here or may go there. So these two capacitors are not in series with the top capacitor. Now the bottom capacitor is in series with the top capacitor because any charge that may split up here will come together at D and flow back in. So it turns out these two capacitors are in series and you could combine them. But I usually find it's better and easier if you work with the capacitors furthest away from where you're attempting to combine the whole thing. I want to combine between points A and points B. That's what I'm asked. So I'm going to start as far over to the right of the circuit as I can. And I'm going to look at this capacitor and that capacitor. Now both of them have a voltage across them, a voltage CD. If you put one lead at C and one lead at D, you would measure the voltage across the two microfarad capacitor and simultaneously measure the voltage across the one microfarad capacitor. So that means those two are in parallel and can be combined. So when you try to combine these, what we'll do is we'll go and draw these little nodes that I've drawn. I'm going to draw A and I'm going to draw B. There's A. There's B. Out of A, I go into a 3 microfarad capacitor, and I get to point C. Out of B, I come out and I run into a 3 microfarad capacitor, and out of that I run into point D. And between C and D, I have a single equivalent capacitor. This is usually said to be something like 2 in parallel with uh, 1. So the 2 microfarad in parallel with 1. Now what is that? Well that's 2 microfarad plus 1 microfarad is 3 microfarads. So you simply add the 2 to the 1 and you replace it with 3 and you connect it to the points where the voltage was applied. C and D. Now when we look at this circuit I see that all three of these capacitors are in series. And not only that, they all have the same value. So I can take advantage of my nice little divider rule, which says that if you have three capacitors in series, then the total capacitance is one-third. So between A and B, I have an equivalent capacitance equal to three microfarads divided by the factor of three of them and it's one microfarad. And that's the answer to the problem. Alright, we'll see you in another video.